What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan. I made it. I made it. We have successfully moved. And uh, and I am very excited to be uh, where I'm at. So we've, uh, it's been extremely uh, uh, stressful. It's been extremely uh, labor intensive to uh, move but uh but here we are and today i want to talk to you guys about my new little toy my caliber gun cricket 2 bullpup let me tell you this i've looked at this gun 20 30 times and i just kept thinking to myself it's cute it's cute it's cute then the other day I decided, you know what? It's time for it to stop being cute and be part of the uh, part of the group here at Air Guns of Michigan. So we picked it up and uh, let me tell you. So this is the bullpup version, the caliber gun cricket 2 made in the Czech Republic, 22 caliber, 300 bar fill. Um, an amazing little air gun for sure. And let me tell you, don't ever think that size matters when it comes to this. As you guys know, last year I did the Caliber Gun Cricket 2 Sniper. And, uh, and I really liked that gun. It was extremely quiet. It was very well balanced. And this one is no different. Extremely quiet. Very well balanced. A little bit of weight to it. Now, I do want to say something very specific about this gun when I got this um, it said that this is a plastic stock I don't know I can tell you that this does not feel anything like plastic it feels very you know what it feels like it feels like like it was a wood stock dressed up in like bed liner or rhino liner so it's got a really good texture and grip to it, but it's it's not like overly ridiculous. Um, it is extremely extremely um, durable. Um, I have literally like hit my ring on it. I actually tried to scratch a little bit of it just to kind of see, you know, like you know, like I can scratch it with my fingernail, and then it just wipes away with my fingerprint. Like you can't see the you can't see it anymore. So. I don't know if this is actually plastic or if it is some kind of synthetic like covered in something. I don't know. But either way, I dig it and I like it a lot. Like I said, it is 300 fill, uh, bar fill. It does have a probe. Please, somebody, get us away from these probes. Seriously. Guys, get with the times. Put a fill port on it. Um, the other thing. Uh, the gauge at the end of the air tank, not my favorite thing to look down the barrel of this thing. Uh, but it, you know, it is what it is. You can hold it off to the side. It's not like it can't be done. Um, it's got a good extended, uh, rail on it. Um, one thing that does take a little bit of getting used to, and I think I said this in my, um, in my other video on, um, on the, uh, sniper version it does take a little bit to get used to pulling this you know this uh this magazine probe if you will back the gun does have to be cocked you just kind of pull it back slide your magazine in it snaps back forward you can close the action and then you know you can hear how quiet that is super quiet um Cocking lever is great now that it's up here on the side as opposed to the original Cricut where it was in the back of the action. Does have adjustable hammer spring. The other thing that I noticed is, um, and, and not that it was like, seriously like, oh my gosh, you, I can't believe you're the first, nope, I'm not. But uh, it's internally adjusted regulator. Um, I did do some research and uh, one thing that is said is that apparently they're all made to be uh, sub 12 foot pound. And then when they come into the States, apparently the um, 
the distributors then adjust them according to our standards. Um, I have not had a chance to unpack my chronograph yet, so I don't have numbers for you guys. But what it says is in 22 caliber, um, it should be putting out about 37 foot pounds of energy. Way more than sufficient to take any kind of small game. Seriously. Especially running Hades as I do for my small game. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use this one for yet. It very well could find itself uh, in the squirrel range. It could find itself plinking here in my backyard behind me. I'm going to set up a target, which you guys will be able to see. I'll probably shoot from inside my gazebo here. I'm actually on or inside the gazebo. Um, I think it'd be nice to be able to just uh, plink back that way. Um, but um, overall, an amazingly well-crafted gun. Um, it feels incredibly well in the hands. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is, is all these magazine ports here in the back, they're magnetically locked. They do hold um, the magazines that come with the gun. Uh, as you can see, uh, Hades are loaded in there. Um, a great way to carry four additional magazines in my opinion i am going to order three more of these mags uh, that way i can have one in the breech and then four in the gun itself these are let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen round magazines uh this gun on a full charge will shoot um, approximately 60 um, full powered shots. Um, once again, don't have my chronograph out guys. Sorry, I just literally I have boxes in the house that haven't even been unpacked yet. Um, but um, I did top this with my Monstrum Alpha 6x24x50 and I did that for two reasons. One, because honestly I don't think Monstrum scopes get enough um, enough recognition for what they are honestly um, these things are seriously the best first focal plane scope that you can buy in an extreme budget seriously i think this thing i think i got this on amazon for like i don't know 100 bucks and uh, i guarantee guarantee and i've tried them all don't care i've seen every piece of chinese amazon glass there is i've tried it and uh especially when it comes to first focal plane and nothing beats or even comes close to the monstrums um seriously guys check these guys out if you want a great scope um it's not that i don't uh, have other uh, nicer scopes um this gun will eventually probably have a helix on it um i do enjoy the element helixes um especially um you know as far as weight goes and just uh, all the um options that they excuse me that they have but um overall the monstrum fits very well um i think you guys are going to find that uh this little butt pad back here is more than sufficient more than sufficient to shoulder the gun and uh it just everything just kind of falls into place honestly um it's it's like i said it's very well balanced it's a little bit on the heavy side but well enough balanced that uh, I don't think you're going to hate it. So, but um, we will get some shooting done with this. I'll get you guys some chronograph numbers. We'll come back for, uh, you know, like a part two where I'm shooting it at the targets out there. Um, and then we'll come back with a conclusion video. I'm also excited to be bringing you guys the um, raw HM1000X that I just picked up. Uh, that's in the blue stock laminate or the blue laminate stock. Um, and that's in 22 caliber as well. Um, I'm really excited to bring you guys that one. Uh, I need to get it out to the range, get it sighted in and, uh, you know, go from there. But, uh, with that being said, I'm so glad to be back. I really, really, really hope that you guys enjoy these videos. I hope that you're, uh, uh all well and safe. And, uh, I hope that you'll continue to, to watch me here on YouTube and, uh, you know, if you run into me on the streets, by all means, say something. Say hi. Um, I had a couple of people when I ended up moving to where I'm at, and uh, they came up to me and said, man, I've, I've seen you. Like, wow, like you're here. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm a real dad. 
So, uh, you know, thanks again, you guys, and uh, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll continue to bring you guys uh, more and more um, air gun stuff. So, until next time, I'm Moose. Take care of each other, be good, and God bless.